Back in the day when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore, but some days I sit and wish I was a kid again. So back in the day, I used to do professional fitness modeling when I lived up in Oregon. So for many of you who may or may not know this, Nike was started in Oregon, so their corporate headquarters was there, and it just made sense. When I graduated college, I just started doing professional fitness modeling in Oregon because I was already living there, and they had the Nike campus, whatever, you get the point. Today I want to talk about what big companies like Nike or Adidas or Under Armour are looking for in a professional fitness model and how to get that body. A lot of people are super intimidated when they think about how to get a professional fitness model body because they automatically think of like bodybuilding magazines of people who have like veins coming out their forehead who look completely out of their minds. Well in reality most of these companies are looking for like average fit looking people okay. So when I say average fit looking people I mean like someone who looks like they play college sports and not like big jack people who play college sports, but more people who play sports like soccer or track or maybe play wide receiver for football or a point guard playing basketball. So for me, when I graduated college, I already went through quite a big weight loss transformation. I already went from my big college football physique down to like a lean and decently muscular looking dude. And what I want you to understand is that to get this physique, you don't have to kill yourself. You just have to really focus on carving out the leanness that these companies are looking for. So I want to give you some examples of what professional fitness models look like. Here are a few, I'll throw up on the screen, here and here, and here's me. You actually can't see my head because I did a bunch of like Nike football stuff where they put a helmet on me, but you can see my arms are lean, I'm not super jacked, I'm just a lean, average muscular looking guy. Now what was the physique and what were the tactics I used to create this body that was accepted and employed me as a professional fitness model? Really, more than anything, it was just about me carving out my physique, so it was about getting lean. So if you're looking at maybe this photo of me right here when I was doing a lot of professional fitness modeling, you can see I had a decent amount of muscle mass. So if you're smaller than I am here, then yes, you're gonna wanna focus on gaining muscle. I'll link the course in the description below that we help people gain muscle with. If you wanna go at it by yourself, I'll link up a video in the top right hand corner of the screen right now where we talk about the people who should be lifting weights. Really in either of those programs, what I'm gonna say is you're gonna wanna lift weights three times a week consistently working all your body parts and eating in a calorie surplus and hitting your protein macronutrients. Meaning, it, for most people, if you weigh, let's say I weighed, I weighed 200 pounds at the time, I wanted to eat 200 grams of protein a day and I wanted to eat in a calorie surplus. And so we have a calculator for that. I'll link it down in the description below. It'll tell you how much to eat. Now, if you know that you probably have more muscle than I do or the equivalent or somewhere near to the photo that I'll show you again right now, then really, if you want to be employed as a professional fitness model, you're you're gonna wanna just start to lean out. Again, we have courses for this. I'll link them down in the description below. Our Getting Lean course is all body weight. It'll help you with this, but I can also give you some very simple tactics to do this as well. See, what you're gonna to wanna to do is consistently be training in high intensity interval training type workouts. And that's a real reason that jump row works so well when we talk about the Zendu physique, which is very close to what a professional fitness model physique is. Or, you know, honestly, if you have the Zendu physique, you could probably and you might be employed as a professional fitness model. Actually, I'll show you an example right now. This is our boy Jonathan right here. This guy has been doing our Zen Dude workouts for quite a bit of time, holla at your boy Jonathan, and he looks like a professional fitness model at this point because he's been doing these high intensity jump rope workouts three to five times a week, and he consistently ate in a calorie deficit, meaning he was eating less calories than he was expending, until he got to this leanness where you could see his abdominals come out. Because what these companies are looking for is not someone who looks like crazy buff, they're just looking for someone who has decently visible abs and sculpted shoulders, because a lot of times when you're doing professional fitness modeling, you may not even have your shirt off, but you may be having shirtless sleeves, and they're also looking for that defined jaw, and that happens when you get to that lower body fat percentage. So if you want to create a physique like that dude I just showed you, Jonathan, or myself, or Dan, or just the Zendu physique we promote over here, and you know that you already have as much muscle mass as we do, then do what I just said. Start to get in a rhythm of eating in a calorie deficit until those abs start to become visible. And continue to do these jump rope workouts we recommend three to five 
five times a week to start to carve out that body as well. And we have a free four week challenge that actually will give you four weeks of these jump rope workouts I'm talking about. So I'll link those up in the top right hand corner of the screen right now for you as well. So if you wanna grab those workouts, you're more than welcome to. So. Like if you watch this YouTube channel and you've seen a lot of our videos, you understand that nothing I'm saying here is crazy new. I wanted to take the scariness away from trying to be a professional fitness model because I never thought I could do it honestly. Like I was a pretty overweight dude. Like I was never considered to be a super attractive guy. And really all it took was me getting to be a certain body fat percentage, me just leaning out quite a bit that carved out that body. And all of a sudden like companies like Nike and Under Armour and Adidas were willing to work with me because I had had that average looking like college athlete looking body. So if you wanna to try to be a professional fitness model, I'll also give you some tactics that I used to get employed in the first place. So the first thing you wanna do is get yourself a portfolio built. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Just find a friend who has a decent camera. It could even be with an iPhone and find good lighting, usually harsh lighting. So the sun or something coming down on a kind of a 45 degree angle that's gonna allow your abdominals to come out. I don't know, something like like this. We've got some sun coming in over here. You wanna show these people that you have visible abs, you're decently lean, and you wanna hit a few angles. And don't worry about being a model, because I sucked at being a model. I still do suck at being a model, and I don't do this stuff anymore, but I never got good at modeling. The only thing I got good at was being lean. And you can do that too. It's super, super attainable. So take some photos, get to a point where you're, you're decently lean, you feel mm, confident about it, and don't worry about if you get denied because what I did when I first got started was I got some photos taken, probably like three to five photos that I thought were decent, and I sent them out to all the modeling agencies in Oregon at the time, and I didn't hear back from any of them except for one, but that one was enough to start to get me employed, work with Nike and other fitness companies like that. So it's not unattainable, and if you don't get accepted the first time around, just keep submitting, continue to get in better shape, don't put all your marbles in this basket, understand that professional fitness model Modeling is only a career for a very few amount of people, but if you want to make some money on the side, it's not bad. In the United States, it pays around $150 an hour, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less, depending on what you're doing. So submit some photos, see what happens. If you don't get accepted, don't worry about it. You know, Submit again and again and again, and don't worry about all the no's you, be, you get, because like I said before, I submitted to probably 10 or 11 agencies and I got all no's except for one, and that one opened up all the doors for me. I hope this video was helpful. I don't know if this was interesting. If it was, that's awesome. Now you have the information and the tactics available to you to become a professional fitness model if you want. So there you go. And finally guys, if this video was helpful for you, please give the video a like, comment, share with a friend who's maybe thinking about this as like a career choice and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I think I might have said that already. And one more time, if you wanna join the things that we have going on here, if you wanna get the free four week challenge with all the jump rope, high intensity workouts, um, I'll put it again in the top right hand corner of the screen if I haven't used up all my cards that YouTube gives me at this point. And that's it guys, thanks for watching.